Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls Asking on TV and Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review the Dash Griddle Mini. This thing retails for around $12.99 on Amazon. Uh, you can get it at most uh, online stores. There's many options to get this thing, but it's the Dash Griddle Mini. And this thing, uh, I did an edited version of this, and it does work. And I have some thoughts about these uh, kind of griddle items uh, because I've used a lot of these in the past, especially like as seen on TV stuff. And one of the things I do like about them is you can cook. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, this is similar to some as seen on TV items I've reviewed in the past. But one thing I've noticed is a lot of them use this nonstick cooking uh, coating, you know, nonstick coating. And what happens after time, after years of using it, eventually comes off. So that's one thing I noticed is they're great and they're awesome to begin with. But once you start really cooking on these things like weekly or daily, uh, this coating has a tendency to come off. So I wish they would solve that problem. But this thing, you know, the $12.99 price point, I guess, uh, low carb pancakes. Yeah, no, you, I could totally see that. Great for eggs. So I'm going to cook some things uh, on this on this griddle. Who knows what I'll cook. I have some ideas, but uh, let's get started. And this thing gets good reviews. Let's let's just do it. Um, Alexa, what's the Dash Mini Griddle? How much is it? Recently on Amazon, the price for Dash Mini Griddle ranged from ten U.S. dollars up to eighty-eight U.S. dollars. A top result is Dash Mini Maker Electric Round Griddle, white, and Mini Maker Portable Grill Machine. It's twenty-five dollars and ninety-eight cents. All right, so it looks like there's quite a lot of variation in price, but uh, you know, try to get it for around twelve ninety nine if you do actually get it. But let's start making some items. This thing heats up real fast. The light comes on right here, and then when it's done, it turns off. And so it's really hot, ready to go. And what I'm going to do is make a little, uh, make a little, I guess, uh, quesadilla burrito, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a pretty sad uh, version of it, but uh, yeah, I just want to quickly kind of look at this thing, see if it works. Let's see, do I have a cookie cutter? I wish I did, I wish I had a cookie cutter. I thought I did. I might have got rid of it, that's unfortunate. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. So I have a glass. I'm just gonna cut around this thing. All right, so we have some nice shapes here. All right, there we go. It is a mini, so you got to create mini uh, tortillas. Hey, Gary, how's it going? Thanks for watching. And I'm not going to do anything yet. And one of the key features of these is they always say, oh, you don't have to cook with oil. There's a nonstick coating. So I'm not going to put on any oil. I probably would recommend it. Uh, but since usually with these products, they usually, that's one of the selling features. Until the nonstick coating comes off, it does work. And I haven't used this that much, actually. Um, so it should be still, the nonstick coating should be intact. So Dash is a popular brand, if you don't know. So that's what it looks like. Here's my mini quesadilla hey becky how's it going thanks for joining and here we go i'm going to put this mini quesadilla in this mini dash uh cooker and uh just going to keep it going uh let's see here get the plug up in so here we go let's just set the timer i don't know alexa set the timer for two minutes Two minutes, starting now. It should take less than that. I might try to do like one minute on each side. I'll check it in a second. Let me ask, Alexa, what's the recipe for pizza dough? Finding some pizza dough recipes. Okay, for pizza dough, I recommend pizza dough from Food Network. What would you like? Start recipe. Send to phone, add to list, or hear next recipe? Start recipe. Pizza dough from Food Network. 
There are six ingredients. Would you like to gather ingredients or yes. hear the instructions? Gather ingredients. At any time, ask me to repeat or start instructions. You'll need one package active dry yeast and one teaspoon sugar. When you've got those, just say continue. Continue. One cup warm water and one tablespoon kosher salt. Continue. Alexa, continue. <laughs> That's what I, it's like when you're doing a recipe with uh, you know, your smart speaker. It it uh, there's some weird glitches. Cave in and buy an Alexa. Yeah, they're they're great. Um, I find I use it daily all the time. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, definitely, it's something that I use daily. So especially for music and podcasts and things like that. All right, so let's check this and see what it looks like. All right, let's just lift it up here. And look at that. It's already getting crispy, so I'm going to flip it over. And we have our little mini quesadilla. So, we're cooking the mini quesadilla on the Dash Mini here. So, the Dash Mini, you can find it around $12.99. You can see that light came on for a second. That's how you know it's heating up. And here we go. We got the mini quesadilla. Uh, one viewer said these are great for uh, pancakes, which I totally could see that being. They have Dash Minis for like waffles. There's all sorts of shapes for these little mini cookers. Some of them are large, some of them are small. But one of the fatal flaws I've noticed with these things is the nonstick coating. <coughs> it eventually uh, comes off. All right, so it's crispy. Cheese is melted. Let's... Let's get some hot sauce. All right, so here we go. The Dash Mini quesadilla, three, two, one. Yeah, it's quite good. There was absolutely no oil on this thing, so, you know, it didn't stick at all. So, yeah, it did what it said it was going to do. Which is consistent with what I've, uh, you know, my past review of this thing. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to finish it. The mini quesadilla. With a little bit of hot sauce. So next, I'm going to do a, something I haven't done before. I'm going to do a live... Trying to make some pizza crust. I have no idea the recipe. I didn't look it up. I'm gonna wing it and make a little mini pizza. So I'm gonna make some pizza dough real fast. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. All I know is I need a little, a little bit of water, um, a little bit of yeast. That's some yeast right here, some quick rise yeast. A little bit of sugar. All 
All right, and I'm gonna just mix this up here. I'm gonna try to make a dash mini, mini pizza. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, and then a little bit of uh, flour here. Got some flour. Good idea. Good luck. Yeah, this is a, a live demo. I, this is truly live in that I'm going off. I'm going blind. I, I don't know if it will work or not. I didn't look up the recipe in advance, but I generally know what's in pizza dough, but I don't know the correct portions. All I know is I'm going to try to do it live. Let me add a little bit more water. All right, and prop, you know, you want to leave this, get some time to let it rise. Obviously, I don't have any time to do that on the Facebook Live here. All right, let's add, let's add a little bit of flour on this board right here. All right, kind of knead the dough. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Krista. All right. So, it's pretty successful. Look at this thing. It's good enough. It's good enough. All right. So, let, let's put in the Dash Mini. I don't know. This is, I'm going to try to get it really thin, actually. I'm going to put less of it because that's like, it's going to take forever to cook. And I, I can't do a Facebook Live where it's just too, too much time. All right. And then, next, so I'm going to spread this out here. Let's just say this is New York style thin crust pizza. This isn't Chicago deep dish. All right, let's cut it out. Let's cut a shape out. All right, so there we go. We have a nice personal pan pizza mini. And we're ready to go. Okay, and I'm gonna get some, uh, we got some nice marinara sauce right here. All right, and then put this in the mini here, the dash mini. Obviously you'd want some oil here. Some cooking spray. Okay, where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? <laughs> Save some time, yeah. Um, yeah, like uh, go to the edited videos. If you click on the, uh, the page and scroll down, you'll see all my edited content and you know, I would say 90, 7% and 96% is all edited. Um, this is like, I'm going way different with these Facebook lives, but that is a good idea. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning. I don't know how this is going to taste, but I'm going to add just a little bit of this stuff. This is good on everything. All right, so here we go. Put that in the Dash Mini. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Starting now. You can hear it sizzling. I'm curious to see if it's going to rise, you know, like raise up at all. 
Yeah, Mona, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I like it. I like the interaction. Uh, but yeah, compare, preparing some stuff. I have some more complex recipes I want to do, and I definitely want to uh, prepare for those. I think they'd be fun, and I'm going to do it kind of like the as seen on TV style where you make two and then one's in advance. So when you make it live, you open up the oven and there's one cooking that's done already. So that's something I want to do in the future. Uh, this thing's twelve ninety nine. Just a couple more minutes. Let's check it actually. Let's see what it looks like. So yeah, it looks pretty good so far. I like that it's like a, creates a little bit of oven, you know, effect in here. But this, once again, you could put this in your air fryer. So like the air fryer, I feel like has trumped like everything. Like it's just like almost anything I cook on this channel, I'm like, well, it'd probably be better in an air fryer. So. All right, so we have 36 viewers, 39. I can start smelling the pizza. I can smell it a little bit. 40 viewers. But I think for the sake of this channel, I'm gonna buy another air fryer. Like I said, I had an air fryer before, like it was one of my favorite products, and then it, it fell off the counter and broke. And I didn't buy another one, so uh, I need to get it. I definitely need to get another one. Three minutes. Let's see how. Actually, let's get a let's get a new plate. All right. So here we go. Let's see how it turned out. Dash mini pizza. Okay. So you can see that kind of the the top came into contact. This is just a cheese pizza. Uh, look at the bottom here. You can see a little bit of crispiness right here, which is cool. Nice. Um, let's cut this. It's really hot. All righty. Here we go. Dash mini quick pizza. You can see... The golden brown, this is fresh pizza dough, just made live with no recipe. Three, two, one, taste test. It's not bad. Yeah, actually really good. I would say... So yeah, it's a Cabernet marinara, so I'm getting, I'm picking up the that flavor, which I would say it would say it's not not what you'd expect with pizza. So that's throwing me off a little bit. But as far as the dough goes, dough dough tastes good. Ch cheese tastes good. Yeah, I would say pretty successful. Let me just show you. This is Costco. You can get this as like, I don't know, $5.99 or $6.99. It's Nana's Pia's Balsamic Glaze. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. I'll show you. Doesn't take much, but this, this stuff has a lot of flavor. All right, so let's put that on this. Let's see how it tastes now. Yeah. Even better. All right. 
So there you have it. Um, pretty successful, I'd say. And let me just unplug it. But what happens, I've noticed, is so you cook things like dough. Eventually, something you cook is going to stick on this stuff. And you're going to be cleaning it. And then it's going to start kind of chipping off the, uh, the nonstick coating there. And then you're also going to be a little bit annoyed that you can't completely submerge this or put in the dishwasher because these, uh, I don't think these trays, yeah, these trays don't pop out. So that's another thing. Um, two of my pet peeves with like these types of uh, cookers. You can't put them in the dishwasher. You can't pop out these little trays. The nonstick coating eventually comes off. But for $12.99, I guess you could say it's pretty disposable cooking. And I like the, the form factor. It's a mini. So you can uh, just make mini items. You can make personal pizzas, personal pancakes, personal quesadillas, whatever you want to make. Uh, eggs, someone suggested. So thanks for watching, everyone. We got up to about 40, 50 viewers, which is great. And once again, my goal this month for Facebook stars is 20,000 for 7% of the way there. So thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.